To perform a manual calibration of the Gold CGI, we will need the instrument itself, a regulator with cal adapter, and the calibration gas. This is a four gas instrument set up for natural gas, so we will need a combination bottle of 50% allyl methane and 100 parts per million carbon monoxide, a bottle of 100% by volume methane, a bottle of 25 parts per million hydrogen sulfide, and if the unit were set up for propane, we would need a bottle of 50% allyl propane, or 1.1% by volume, along with the regulator and cal adapter. To begin, power on the instrument by pressing and holding the A button. The model type will be displayed along with the version. There will be a system check. Date and time will be displayed, along with the gas type and the serial number. There will be a brief warm-up, after which the instrument will auto-zero and the screen will advance to the working display. Before calibrating, we must verify the date and time and perform flow check. To verify date and time, enter into the user menu by pressing and holding the B button. Scroll through the menu by pressing and releasing the C button until set clock appears. Select by pressing and releasing the B button and the date and time will be displayed. If adjustments are needed, the current field can be adjusted by pressing and releasing the B button. And you can advance to the next field by pressing and releasing the C button. When the date and time are correct, save by pressing and releasing the A button, and return to the working display by pressing and releasing the A button again. To perform a flow check, Place the finger over the inlet at the end of the gooseneck. Until a flow blocked message appears. Allow the instrument to warm up for an additional five minutes before calibrating. Prior to calibration, auto-zero the instrument by pressing and holding the C button. We can then enter into the user menu by pressing and holding the B button and scrolling to calibration by pressing and releasing the C button. Select by pressing and releasing the B button and the calibration menu will appear. We have a list of the possible calibration points. And we will begin with 100 parts per million CO. Attach the regulator to the calibration gas, turn the regulator on, and attach the calibration adapter to the end of the gooseneck. Select by pressing and releasing the B button. The number at the bottom of the screen is the output of the sensor, and is useful as a reference when troubleshooting if any issues should occur. Once a stable reading has been achieved, Data saved will be displayed on the bottom line of the instrument display, and the display will return to the calibration menu. We can leave our gas attached because we are also calibrating 50% LEL natural. Scroll to that item by pressing and releasing the C button, and select by pressing and releasing the B button. Both the internal TC sensor and the 2611 or LEL sensor at the end of the gooseneck will be calibrated during this process. We can now remove our cal adapter from the end of the gooseneck and shut our regulator off.
for propane. Attach the cowl adapter to the regulator. The regulator to the bottle. And the cowl adapter to the end of the gooseneck. Select by pressing and releasing the B button. Again, the TC and 2611 or LAL sensors will both be calibrated during this process. We can now remove our cow adapter from the gooseneck and from the regulator. Next is 100% by volume methane. Attach the regulator to the bottle, turn on the regulator, and attach the cow adapter to the end of the gooseneck. Select by pressing and releasing the B button. We can now remove the cow adapter from the gooseneck, turn off the regulator, and we can scroll to 25 parts per million H2S. Repeat the same process of attaching the regulator, turning it on, and attaching the cow adapter to the end of the gooseneck, and select by pressing and releasing the B button. Final gas has been calibrated. We can remove the cowl adapter and turn off the regulator. And exit back to the working display by pressing and releasing the A button. Calibration is now complete. Allow the instrument to clear for 60 seconds or until all readings are displaying zero before powering the instrument down. To verify the calibration date, enter into the user menu by pressing and holding the B button, and scroll through the user menu by pressing and releasing the C button until show catalog appears. Select by pressing and releasing the B button, and on the screen we will have each sensor and the most recent calibration date for that sensor. We can scroll through by pressing and releasing the C button to view CO, H2S, LEL, Natural, and Propane for this case. Pressing and releasing the C button again, we'll exit to the user menu, and we can exit to the working display by pressing and releasing the A button.